Hi, I'm Monique Tuzinski reporting for Highlands TV and we are here at the Chevalier College annual 2014 presentation ball. The sun is setting, it's a beautiful Friday night and the hall is decked out in a beautiful Parisian theme. So let's go inside and take a look. Hey, I'm Will. We're from In-House Chef, the local Sunland's catering company, and we're here to do the presentation ball to cater. We are here inside the Grand Hall. The designers have spared no expense. We are here in front of some golden gates that look like they've been brought right from Paris. Mr. Chris McDermott, who is the principal of Chevalier College. How are you, Chris? Very well, Monique, thank you. Great. So, would you be able to tell us uh, what this presentation ball means to you? Uh, the presentation ball is a great opportunity for our kids to come together, look great, have their parents watch them and see and be very, very proud. It's also an opportunity for our kids to have a wonderful, wonderful night without the need for anything other than their own company, their friends and their family around. We're here with Ben and Dane, who are parents of the students at the college. So tell us what it's like to be here now. Oh, it's all very exciting. This is our first um, time at one of these Chef events because our son's in year 11, our oldest one, and we're very excited. It looks lovely. they put a lot of work in. I can't, I can't believe the work that they've put into it. It's just fantastic. It's it looks beautiful. Very exciting. Um, and it's, it's very exciting. And um, even though traditionally it's been more about, about the girls, which of course it, it's a big deal for the girls, but it's wonderful for the boys as well. And we're really excited for him. So when did the presentation ball become the presentation ball? When did it stop being called the debutante and why? Well, I can probably do the why a bit better than I can do the when. The when part was roughly around uh, probably 2005-ish, thereabouts, and it came about because the debutante ball was still very much an old concept where young women would be presented to society. And the problem was that our young men deserved to be as presented as the girls did. So we moved away from this traditional sense of partnering into everybody gets presented. And so the sense of debutante no longer applied. And therefore it became all of our young people are going to just be presented, full stop. Great, so everyone is equal. Everyone is equal and everybody is special. So we're here with Tori and Amelia. And are you girls both in year 11? Yeah. Year 11, yeah. Wonderful. So what are you most looking forward to about tonight's ball? Uh, um, the dancing. Yeah, dancing, dancing? definitely. Dancing? Yeah. Have you been practicing a lot? Yeah, we've had practices for a couple of months now and we're very excited. Yeah. So behind me we have some of the students just getting ready and doing their practice dances before they go out. They all look great and very soon we'll be moving to the presentation hall where they'll be having their first dance. starting to take their seats and fill up and we also have the red carpet where the students will be walking down and getting presented. So we are here with Jacob and Jacob is no stranger to Highlands TV. He's a musician here in the Highlands. So what have you been up to musically lately? Uh, nothing much, just writing quite a bit, writing a fair bit and uh, just geeking up in Canberra and Wollongong. Excellent. Actually. And what does the presentation ball mean to you? Uh, I don't know, I think it's just a good chance for our year to get together to be honest. Um, you know, there's not, not this many chances, you know, elsewhere at other schools where a year can, you know, get together and look this nice and just be in each other's company. So it's, it's really great. Absolutely. And you've got a quite a big year. It's about 200 kids, I hear. Yeah, yeah. So it must be a great bonding experience for everyone. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think especially this year, we've kind of bonded as a year group. So this is just like a, another little thing to, you know, help. So we're here with Mr. John Dooley. How are you, sir? I'm well, Monique. Thank you. So the students don't actually know, but he is our guest of honour for tonight. So how have you been involved with Chevalier College? I was a student here between 1965 and 1970 and I've been a member of the now named Ex-Students Association ever since then. Excellent. So how does it feel coming back here tonight? Well apart from having had the odd, um, the odd sneaky walk through the grounds two or three times over the last few years, it's, um, it's quite an emotional trip back. Yeah. 
Mm. Absolutely. And what are you looking forward to most for the presentation ball? Oh, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to ideally having something to say to this group of students which is thought-provoking and serves them in some measure to give them some ideas as they move forward into Year 12 and beyond. So we're here with Mel Gabor, who is a creative designer and also a parent at the college. So tell us about your role here. Uh, okay, so I'm the uh, organiser of the committee that put together the, the presentation ball. Um, I'm a mum of four kids and Jamie's my second child and he's being presented tonight. So just off camera we've been talking to a student and they don't know what the theme is for the presentation ball so each year it's going to be a new surprise. Our God, for the gifts he gives us, we thank God that we live in such a rich country that we don't need wonderful things. We thank him for the creation that provides our needs. But also on a night like this, we thank him for the gift of the young people, the people that are, will be presented here tonight that are the future of our country. And we ask God's blessing on them to keep them safe and to know that they are loved by so many people. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> We're here with Steve and Fiona, who are the creative designers of the Chef Presentational Ball. So tell us what the process was like for you. Well, I or we did the decorations for my daughter's presentation ball two years ago, a Venetian ball, and my younger daughter watching the whole process was saying to me, well mum, what are you going to do for my ball? And I said, well if I'm lucky enough to do the decorations again, why don't we do Paris? Because at that age, she was in year nine, she was 14, so Paris is very romantic. <laughs> yeah. So it just grew from there. So how was that, was, what were the challenges with creating that? Um, Fiona comes up with the ideas of um, decorating and props she needs, so I generally make them over the, the, you know, the previous months. just started here at the 2014 annual Chevalier College Presentation Ball. Everyone's having a great time and the dance practice has definitely paid off. I'm Monique Tuzinski for Highlands TV.